I just finished part of a run and once again I wasn't able to do more than two kilometers and it's probably because I pushed it so much last night and I just haven't recovered so that's the second time that I haven't been able to do more than two kilometers in the morning because I have this huge stitch in my side and it's incredibly painful so I'm not gonna push it more than that but at least I know that when I run a lot the night before like when I really push it and do a new personal best the next morning it's probably out of the question I really need to let myself recover more but I really want to switch that up I would really much rather do my best times in the morning because the army run will be in the morning so I really have to try to shift that but it shouldn't be a problem because once I get home if I start running with Dennis we are we're gonna run around 4 p.m. or maybe 4.30 and when I run with my dad he likes to go like around 8 p.m. so if I run you know late afternoon early evening I should be able to have a bit more time to recover for the next morning and not only that but Dennis is really out of shape so it's not like he's gonna be doing any personal bests with me anytime soon so I should be able to do my real five kilometer time in the morning and then just do a really light jog in the evening so that Dennis can start to uh, exercise a little bit more and start to get into running so that's the plan for now I'm just gonna finish walking down the street and just get home I'm not even gonna bother doing the rest of the 5k it's actually really painful the other thing I'm considering it might be because of food. I mean, when I run in the evenings, I've eaten already. So maybe I'm just hungry and that's what's happening. I know people say that you're not supposed to eat before a big run, but I think I should at least have a little something, especially if the race is at 8 a.m. I mean, I'm gonna have to eat something before then, especially if I wanna have the energy to run. So I'm gonna have to experiment with that and see how much food I can actually handle before a run and my arm is dead so I'm just kind of like dropping the phone so I'm just gonna get home and hopefully I'll be able to run tonight but if not then I'll just try to push it tomorrow morning by then I should have recovered that should be fine so that's it I'm gonna get home and rest a bit good news I managed to do my 5k today after all and there's definitely something about doing it in the evenings right now. For some reason, it just works better for me. But this time, I finally surpassed my father and he just couldn't keep up with me this time. Around three kilometers in, he just turns and says, you know what, you go ahead, I'm slowing down. So that was pretty um, strange for me because I'm so used to just keeping up with him and just we just run together the entire way. But... I ended up doing a new personal best yet again. So I'm now at 32 minutes and 54 seconds. But this time, I really think that this might be it. I didn't have any dangerous chest pains or stitches in my side, but my legs and my lungs were on fire. I just, I couldn't wait to get the run over with. So I ended up sprinting at the end just so I could finish faster and just you know stop running but yeah it was worth it I still got a new personal best so that's great what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip the morning runs um, for the next few days until I'm back at home and doing my regular routine so I'm just gonna walk in the mornings now that way I can save all my energy for the evening because right now it seems that I run better in the evenings for now until I try to shift that around so I'm gonna stick to that while I'm here and I'm just gonna skip my morning runs and just walk instead so I can save my energy for the evening so I can keep training that up and maybe even reach more personal bests before I go back home in two days. So that's the plan. I'm gonna rest and I'm gonna do this again tomorrow.